time for your morning briefing of junior mining and mineral exploration news. You are tuned in to Mining Stock Daily. Now, reporting from the Clear Creek Digital Studios in Denver, Colorado, here's your host, Trevor Hall. Good morning, everybody. Welcome into Mining Stock Daily. This is Trevor Hall. It's Monday, September 13th. Happy to be back with the morning briefing with you. After getting driven down over $30 last Tuesday, back below $1,800, gold spent last week in a trading range between 1784 and 1808 but it was pushed down aggressively on Friday to close out the week at 1788 October basis, $46 from the previous Friday. Silver was hammered down over $1 last week to close at $23.79 December basis, down from $24.81 the previous Friday. The mining stocks were taken to the woodshed last week with GDX down 6%. The Mining Stock Journal said that sentiment towards the sector is as bad as it's been since the bull market resumed in late 2015. Barring the possibility of a stock market accident, which takes everything lower, the poor sentiment is likely a strong contrarian signal. For now, the Mining Stock Newsletter is advising subscribers to hold their cash until there's further clarity on the direction of the Fed's monetary policy and on the stability or instability of the stock market. We'll get to the news out of the miners and explorers here in just a moment, but first a quick mention of today's sponsor. This Mining Stock Daily Morning Briefing is brought to you by Integra Resources. Integra Resources is advancing the past-producing Delamar project in southwestern Idaho. The company has continued to demonstrate resource growth and conversion through greenfield and brownfield exploration and plans on delivering a pre-feasibility study in Q4 2021 to further de-risk and advance the project towards permitting. Integra Resources trades on the TSXV under ITR and the NYSE American under ITRG. And here's what you need to know this morning. Rupert Resources announced results of its maiden 43101 compliant mineral resource estimate for the Akari discovery at the Rupert Lapland project in the central Lapland greenstone belt of northern Finland. The inferred mineral resource estimate for Akari stands at 49 million tons at 2.5 grams per ton gold for 3.95 million ounces. 25,000 meters of drilling remains this year, with an estimated 62,000 meters budgeted for next year, showing the project still has room to grow, with the company looking to produce an updated MRE mid-next year along with a planned preliminary economic assessment. Rupert Resources trades on the TSX Venture with RUP. Meridian Mining reported more significant gold mineralization from the Cabasol Northwest Extension as part of the maiden ongoing drill program on the Cabasol Copper Gold Project in Brazil. Drilling returned 16.5 meters of 7.2 grams per ton gold from hole 54 which also included a half meter of 102 grams per ton gold and another half meter of 70.7 grams per ton. This hole is 410 meters to the southeast of the previously reported hole 49, which returned that big hit a few weeks ago. The company also noted hole 65 intersected sulfide mineralization with visible gold 500 meters southeast of Cabasol and XRF analysis confirms that a prospective sulfide assemblage is present. Meridian Mining trades on the TSX Venture with MNO and on the OTCQB with MRRDF. Predium Resources says they continue to intersect high-grade gold mineralization in Phase 3 of the North Block Resource Expansion Drill Program at the Bruce Jack Mine in British Columbia. Phase 3 results include seven intersections assaying above 1,000 grams per ton gold. Drill hole 3255 assayed 493.2 grams per ton gold over 15 meters, including 7,360 grams per ton gold over 1 meter. Drill hole 3242 assayed 676.8 grams per ton gold over 7 meters, including 3,150 grams per ton gold over one and a half meter. One drill hole from each drill fan was extended to test the exploration potential to the north of the north block zone. These extended holes intersected stockwork veining and high-grade gold mineralization along trend from the west zone. 
an intersection from drill hole 3252 at say 3,660 grams per ton gold over one meter at 303, 330 meters down hole. Predium trades on the TSX and the NYSC with the symbol PVG. Argonaut Gold says they continue to discover gold mineralization in three distinct veins, north, central, and south, below the El Creston open pit at its La Colorada mine in Sonora, Mexico. Drill results reported today included 38.1 meters of 9.1 grams per ton gold and 126.6 grams per ton silver. And there's 22.9 meters of 6.7 grams per ton gold and 30.1 grams per ton silver. The latest phase of drilling was a follow-up program to the initial discovery of gold veins below the El Cristón open pit. The drill results announced today represent approximately 80% of the phase two drilling program and assays are pending for the remaining 20% of the program. Argonaut trades on the TSX with AR. Suma Silver Nested has received drill permits for the silver and gold Mogollon property in New Mexico. Drilling will begin it by testing mineralization surrounding the historic consolidated mine where widely spaced drilling in the 1980s hit substantial intercepts of silver and gold mineralization. Largely incomplete records report that mines in the Mogollon district produced at least 16.4 million ounces of silver and 339,000 ounces of gold at average grades of 821 grams per ton silver equivalent between 1904 and 1942, before the federally mandated shutdowns of precious metals mining in the U.S. at the onset of World War II. Suma Silver trades on the TSX Venture with SSVR and on the OTCQB with SSVRF. That's it for the news briefing this morning. Uh, we do have a number of interviews still outstanding from the Beaver Creek Precious Metal Summit that we will be sharing uh, intermittently throughout this week. So do stay tuned for that, along with some more market analysis that I have on the docket. The Mining Stock Daily Morning Briefing is produced by Clear Creek Digital and Investment Research Dynamics Mining Stock Journal. It is distributed throughout the world through your podcast network of choice and by our friends over at the Junior Mining Network. I'm Trevor Hall. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Be well. The information presented should not be considered investment advice. Mining Stock Daily and its affiliates are not responsible for any loss arising from any investment decision in connection with the material presented herein. Please do your own research or speak with a licensed financial representative before making any investment decision.